because of Gwen and Rebecca, I have to stay dead. Or Juanita will kill my entire family. There's got to be a way that I can pay her back. But how? Look, I don't know what more I can do to try and make Ethan forget about Teresa. Said all the right things, and I certainly did all the right things. Okay, well... Honey, I think I may know what the problem is. And I love you, honey. I am telling you this because I love you. No one else will tell you, but... But I will. It's clear. You must be frigid and dull in the sack. <laughs> oh, you think so? Well, I'll have you know I happen to be excellent in bed, and Ethan's never had any complaints. Well, has it ever occurred to you that maybe he's just being kind? You know, he doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Oh. Honey, listen to me. You have got to stop being a prude and, and learn to be lewd. Like, okay. just snap these suckers onto him and rip him off. I promise you, he'll go wild. And, and I... Nothing says love quite like bondage. You can just uh, cuff him to the bed, drip some candle wax on him, and you will be screaming, oh, sweet mystery of life in no time. Uh, I don't need your sex toys to pleasure that man. Okay. Fine. Just keep Ethan focused on you. Even if that means that you have to send little Ethan to boarding school and get a nanny for Jane and Jonathan. You gotta focus on keeping Ethan happy. That way, you won't even think about Teresa. A nanny?